My name is Peter Coppola. I'm uh, here to talk a little bit about the manual articular classes through Jean-Pierre Barral's work. Um, as a physical therapist, I found it to be extremely effective in changing the way that I'm approaching joint, uh, joint dysfunction in my clients. Uh, an example would be a woman who came into my office with uh, left hip pain. And with this woman, I had tried some of the other techniques. She had been to somebody else in my office for some structural realignment um, and structural integrative therapy, as well as had been receiving uh, weekly uh, massage work in my area. And this woman had pro been progressively getting worse with her left hip symptoms. So the specific difference that I see with Jean Pierre's work as far as the manual articular approach goes is one of the most important pieces as to just general visceral manipulation as well. And that's the use of the proprioceptive system. So we as therapists in, a, in Jean Pierre's style of work are not treating the body like a lump of clay or putty. We're not re-sculpting. We are stimulating these uh, fibers, the nervous system, stimulating it in a way so that we gain more communication between that dysfunctional body part and the brain so that the brain's internal corrective mechanisms can, can be more effective in, uh, in helping that client maintain or gain back any of their uh, homeostatic balance that gives them the health to be able to um, go through their day with less dysfunction. So in the case of this woman, I found that there had been a great deal of work done in her quadriceps. Uh, there had been some uh, deep psoas work through the abdomen. Um, she had had a, plenty of work on the hip rotators as well as the IT band and uh, hamstring musculature. Um, again, yielding temporary results as we might all see. We might see that little bit of a, a bump where we see a gain for our clients but then we find the recurring pattern. And again, recurring patterns is something that Jean-Pierre, uh, Jean-Pierre's work is very effective in trying to target or at least help that client's body to move past. So with, with the manual articular approach, when you're working with the joints, you're not working with the joint in a traditional way. You're looking to stimulate the uh, Golgi tendon organs inside the tendons. You're, you're looking at more of what piece of the musculature and the ligaments and the tendons and musculature, what pieces are really going to give us the best information back to the brain, the best proprioceptive feedback that's going to give us the ability to get the brain really fine tuning, getting very, very specific in how it's going to help rebalance itself. So with this uh, woman that I was working with, I did some work with the piriformis musculature, uh, its attachment and insertions, trying to uh, use active motion uh, to gain repatterning of how things are moving and how her body was using that tension. Um, I found that she had a very strong contraction uh, or limitation in her range of motion for hip adduction. So in the case of a sideline overs test, I found that she had maybe five degrees of hip adduction. Um, her hip extension was at a minus 20 degrees. So we see a pretty decent dysfunction in, in in watching her walk into my clinic, I did not see these as very, very apparent, as, as large as they may sound, uh, just in speaking about them in um, goniometrical terms. So her body was doing quite a bit to help compensate for and allow her to continue functioning uh, in an ambulatory way. So in, in her case of breaking it down into specific goniometrical measures, we found that she had quite a bit of dysfunction here. Uh, the other thing that I would add into that would be her hip uh, rotation. Her external rotation was about 40 degrees, so a little shy of the full 45 we'd like to see. Her hip internal rotation was 10, and very painful and very guarded for her. So finding that she had quite a bit of a restriction into her iliotibial band, um, she had a severe contracture of the, and guarding of spasm of the uh, TFL, sensor fascia lata. Um, I did the proprioceptive work with the IT band with motion and very progressively, uh, each motion that we went through in stimulating the Golgi tendon organs, allowing her body to process rather than forcing it to occur, and only stimulating the specific fibers that I felt were, were tight for her, um, we significantly gained range of motion. By the time she left my office, she had 10 to 15 degrees of hip adduction. Uh, her hip inter internal rotation had increased to 20 degrees. External rotation um, had bumped up to about 45 
and uh, her hip extension went from that, that minus 15 to 20 degrees that I spoke about before, uh, went to about a minus five. So with this person, uh, I did some repatterning and other things that just are, are very, very powerful to add in stuff that we already know from physical therapy school. Um, with these manual techniques, it gave me such a huge gain so that sending that client home, she, she wasn't working with a tiny little piece. She was really able to change the way she was moving, start utilizing some neuromuscular re-education techniques uh, that are you know, very uh, great for the physical therapy field as far as um, getting our clients to move uh, in a better way. Uh, and it was the, the techniques that I had learned in the manual articular approach that really gave the client that huge change so that she could move better. By the time she came into my office uh, a week or two later, um, she was at 15 degrees of hip adduction she was at 30 degrees of hip internal rotation, 45 to 50, which is more equal to her other side uh, for her external rotation, and her hip extension was zero. So this is something where with her home exercise and stretching program, some neuromuscular re-education movement patterning for her home program, as well as targeting it most effectively that I could in the clinic. And again, something that um, I don't feel like she would have gotten anywhere else. Um, and as shown by the fact that she had been receiving re regular massage therapy and it was progressively getting worse. Um, another really great thing about Jean Pierre's work uh, specific to the hip is that he talks about the pressure systems inside the joint and how these pressure systems inside the joint um, help our body to maintain an awareness of where that joint is, what healthy tensions are around it, um, and work with itself in a way to keep it functional. In this case, there was a bigger motivation against the iliotibial band and some of the piriformis tensions that the body had placed at a higher level of importance. And that made the hip joint slowly become more and more dysfunctional as we were not treating, or the other therapists, were not treating the true cause or the true lack of proprioceptive communication that allowed the body to kind of balance itself out. So by reconnecting these things and by being very specific, with very little treatment, her body did a much more effective treatment than a lot of heavy digging, uncomfortable uh, type of approaches, heavy handed techniques that not only beat our client's body up, but beat our hands up. Um, so with gentle specifically placed manual forces is one of the things Jean-Pierre um, emphasizes. Um, I, I was able to get results again that other therapists had not really seen. Uh, something that my client was extremely happy because over the course of uh, the time that she was dealing with this, it was just getting worse. And uh, again, something that she came into my office saying was, this is the first time I feel like I'm, I'm starting to get better. I'm on the road to making a change. And she could feel it in the way that she was walking, in the way that she was standing, in the way she, that she was moving. So again, back to the manual articular approaches. You're going to get the best results for your clients if you know what is truly causing the dysfunction rather than treating the result of the dysfunction in the structure or the symptoms that we see with our clients.